I think that's a big part of it. And it's a big reason or problem is that the people that are doing the research, the science, the people in academic health institutions or at the NIH or CDC or FDA, the ones that are doing that, we're living in that echo chamber, right? And so we trust when a doctor from the NIH tells us wear a mask, oh, now you don't have to wear a mask, oh, now you do have to wear a mask, or if you're this far away, if you're outside, then you don't, and all of those different... I would get confused as an individual who doesn't have a medical training background, but I obviously spent my entire career in it. I would get confused and be like, wait, what am I supposed to do? And I would just try to listen to figure out, but I would trust the NIH. Right. I just naturally would because I worked there for 10 years. Sure. So what we maybe underestimated and communicators across the federal government and academic institutions and others maybe underestimated what the other echo chambers would do to the confusing mm. messaging. Yes. Again, but the pandemic, and we're saying this throughout the entire first three years of the pandemic, this has never happened before. Unprecedented. Everything was unprecedented. Right. So we didn't have a playbook for this. Just like right now in 2025, we're in an unprecedented situation.